Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm in the town of Annan. And I have been here before because I have tried to get to the Annan Museum before. But it's been closed like, every time I've tried to get to it. But I have also managed to visit the Annandale Distillery, which I will try and link into this video. So if you're on a, uh, planning to visit Annan, you can watch these videos. So uh, I'm going to be going into the Corner House Hotel because that's where I'm staying to tonight because it's now pitch black outside and I don't really want to be driving up the M74 when it's this dark a lot of that, a lot of that road is not lit and I'd just rather go up when it's still daylight so I'm going to be heading in in just a moment so I will be doing a video on my stay while I'm here and letting you know what the hotel's like so before I do go in, if you enjoy my channel, if you enjoy my videos if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. It does actually really help the channel to grow. And if you want to support the channel further, I will post a link to, to the channel's TikTok account. And you can also help, uh, help find more adventures like this, more content like this, by becoming a channel member. So that link should be in the description bar below. So again, it's, it's only, I think it's like £2 a month. So... I know it's a small amount, but it all goes, uh, it all kind of like, all build up and see bigger and better things happen. So I'm going to grab my things and head on into the hotel and show you what it's like. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying. I can't quite see it because I'm light inside. But the uh, reception is up the stairs. Check out my bags. So, up this way, well, that's me in, and I've got my room key, I'm 105, so I'm going to go dump my stuff, and then go for a wander, and I might try and see if I can get something myself, something to eat. So I think my room is down through that door there, so I'll yeah, go and try and see if I can find it. Okay, it's quite a narrow corridor. Uh, 104. I'm through that store here, I must be. Because I think this is quite a an old building. Yeah, so that's 106, that should be the next one. Oh, no, I mean, I missed one here. Yeah, I've got two sets of keys on this. Let's see which one fits. Not that one. So it'll be the square one. Sure, must be. Yep. Yeah. So that's uh, me in the room. Yeah, I think this might actually be the one that I saw on their website. Because uh, they do have uh, a smaller room for uh, a single occup occupancy. But it's not a single, it's not... A single bed, so I, th I don't think it's, yeah, but it's one of the small rooms anyway. But I'll turn the camera around and go for a wander around the room, show you what it's like. And yeah, to excuse the fact that I've just kind of came in and dumped all my stuff in the corner. Uh, but yeah, looks like a nice, nice wee room. Uh, very bright light, again, that's always good. The bed looks nice, and yeah, so I'll just turn you around and wander around and let you see what it's like. Obviously some safety information, like if there's a fire at all. So that should give us an idea of where to go if there's a fire. And yeah, the room itself, it's got a good sized bed. The pillows seem decent, a bit on the soft side. But there's a bit more to them than the ones that they had in the George Hill. And again, as I'm only here myself, and there's four pillows, I'm not really in short supply of pillows. So, the actual bed in itself, that actually looks fairly clean. I don't know, I said fairly clean, it does look clean. 
Uh, the duvet feels nice and soft and warm. I'll tighten it up in a minute. And I've got a decent sized full length mirror. They've got a good sized cupboard in here. So we've got the iron in there, some uh, shelf space, hangers, dryer, and a fan. I don't think I've really been needing the fan just now. Uh, I do have a decent amount of plugs, because obviously they've got the one there. I've got, is it four over there? Yeah, I've got four over there. Uh, I've got there are four there. And is there any on this side? Yeah, there's even some there. So I'm not going to be going short on plugs. Definitely plenty of space to charge things. Yeah. Not much of a view at the window just now. Again, that is just that dark outside. Obviously, got a good sized TV. And again, with it facing the beds. Well, I'm in bed, be comfy and warm and watch some good telly. And obviously, I've got some wee shortbread biscuits, by the packaging, which is nice. And obviously, some tea, coffee, like cups. Let's have a look and see what I like inside. Yeah, they're nice and clean. And. Okay, it's a, a small kettle, but not needing much. Let's turn it on. Can't get that lid, that lid off, but yeah, does the job. Also got my hair dryer as well. It's a bit like the one at the George. So let's see what the toilet's like. Because I did go for one for one suite. sweet. Okay, got the toilet there, got bath. Oh, that's not a good sign. Well, I got, got a bit of tape on it. Let's see if it actually works. Yeah, oh, that's. Yeah, I don't think the shower works. Because the button's been covered over. Bit of a shame. I think I had to share this morning. But the bath should still work. Let's have a look. Yeah, so the bath still works. I think that's probably for the temperature of that one. So even though the shower's not working, I can still the bath. They've got this here, which I think is for. Uh, it's a soap dispenser for like, like the body wash and shampoo, all in a one. And we've got a sink there as well. Again, an army soap dispenser. Yeah, the mirror looks like it's been been cleaned and polished up. Oh, it's got a decent amount of bins. So, uh, get back out into the room and. See what else I can show you. I forgot I did forget to say there are towels included. So if you want to go for a bath, you've got your towels already there. Yeah, just realised you can actually open the window. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be looking at onto tomorrow morning. Or just the back of the tail there under the some houses. It's actually quite mild tonight, especially after the the cold snaps we've been having the past few weeks. And they do have a wee radiator, so if you're feel, feeling a bit chilly at night, you can turn that on and warm yourself up. And it is right next to the bed, so you'll be getting the heat straight from it. Yeah, so I'm going to go back down the stairs and try to see if I can find out where the restaurant is, because it's half past six now. I'm starting to get a bit hungry. Uh, I know that for breakfast tomorrow morning it's going to be down the stairs uh, next to reception. Uh, so we'll just see 
what's an offer. But I can't find the restaurant. Uh, I don't know if it's at the, the restaurant, which is a bit around the back, next to the car park. I'll try and find out. If not, we're right on the main street uh, through Aaron's. So I'm pretty sure I can find something to eat that I can uh, treat myself to. So I'll head back down the stairs and see what I can find. Yeah, so I'll just head back down this way. So the reception and the bar area are right next to each other. And obviously you've got the wee sitting area on one side. And you do have an alright selection of things on offer to sit and treat yourself to. I did treat myself to a couple of glasses of the Soli Spirit Gin, which they have a few bottles behind the bar. They also have a wee display of different things that the Solway Spirits has on offer. So like different gins. And they also do rum as well. Yeah, so I'm just gonna try and keep my voice down now because yeah, it's getting late on now. It's probably things about half eleven. So it's definitely bedtime, definitely time to get to sleep. Again, the problem will be uh, some things I want to go try and visit while I'm down here tomorrow before I head up the road. So it won't be too much for a lie in tomorrow morning. So hopefully the rain that's been forecast for tomorrow won't be too bad. Because uh, it was supposed to be rain all day tomorrow, but you know what weather forecast can be like, like you can see one thing one minute and then something totally different the next. So. Fingers crossed it's not going to be too wet tomorrow. And yeah, there's a wee bit of noise for the, the, the pub next door, but they actually do warn you of that on the website. Uh, when, you, when you're booking into the the corner, the corner hotel, uh, it's the same that, yeah, especially weekends. And this is Saturday, so it's the same that, yeah, expect a wee bit of noise. But hopefully I should have to get to sleep and shouldn't be too bad. So I'll see you all in the morning. Well, it's the next morning now. I had a, a relatively good sleep. The bed was really comfortable. Uh, the room itself was actually uh, quite warm. And um, yeah, but as again, as it usually with me, uh, if it's my first night somewhere, it's uh, my, my sleep can be a wee bit broken just because I'm getting used to the place. But the room itself is really clean. The, I think the, the carpet actually does look like it's been real, uh, recently uh, replaced. It looks like a quite a new carpet. Uh, but again, the room itself is just a really quite a nice room itself. Uh, and again, that's a relatively good sleep. Uh, but I, again, I was saying that's mostly just because of me. Rather than the comfortable the the, com uh, the comfort of the bed itself, because it was quite a a nice mattress. Uh, I will be heading downstairs in just a moment to go get my breakfast. That's uh, there's a room just off where the reception is, which is where you go and get your breakfast. I've already paid for that. That was a an extra ten pound on top of the cost of the room. So I think uh, the cost of my room and the breakfast came to about eighty five pound. So I'll go downstairs and show you around where you get your breakfast and show you what it is I get. Uh, I will turn the camera around and have a little, little look outside because it's starting to get a bit brighter outside now, as you can see. And it is raining, but let's see, let, let's see what we can see. Yeah, I can't really see much outside. It's just the, the back of the buildings and out towards some of the houses. I think somebody has had a peat fire going. I just have a whiff of peat smoke in the air. Bit of a, a grey dreek morning.
characters in loads of single things on Tuesday, but then it's going to be an up and down sort of week because it turns so this is obviously our breakfast menu. And I ends up going for the three egg omelettes with cheese and ham. Two, seven, eight. Yeah, so as we pretty much packed up, I will do one final little sweep before I leave to make sure that I've got everything. Uh, but again, actually a, a really nice, comfortable, warm, clean hotel room. So again, I would definitely recommend it if you're uh, exploring the Vries, the Vries and Galloway. Yeah, the, 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 the Corner House Hotel in Annan would be a, a good choice. So again, do have a car park around the back. So, again, easy to park up and come up to the hotel and stay overnight. Or maybe stay a few nights. And again, a, a few things in Annan that you can go and explore and visit while, while you're here. And yeah, and again, with, with the recent Galloway, it's an area in Scotland that really does deserve to be explored and visited because, again, there's just like so many little hidden gems here. And again, uh, last night, find that, finding out about is uh, it's always spirits. I'll have to come back down at some point and pay them a visit because I think they're closed today because today is Sunday. But again, that's an even more reason to come back and come for a way to explore. So hopefully you'll have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll have liked the look of the Corner House Hotel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.